Hi everyone! Today I have a very interesting topic to share with you guys today, such as what will be happen if the planets become our natural satellite? The moon is the closest space object to us, also the Earth's only natural satellite. A lot of people might think a Mars-sized object crashed into our Earth in billions of years ago, made the Earth become a ball of molten rock. It pushed some material on its orbit, then created the Moon. The Moon is very, very important for our Earth, especially for humans. The Earth, I mean the Moon, has a surface of gray dust with several craters was crushed by several comets, several asteroids, and meteorites in billions years ago made the moon become very very small with craters and gray dust on it. Moon also creates a high and low tide on Earth. The size of the moon is nearly one-fourth the size of Earth, the fifth largest natural satellite in the solar system. The moon has several phases such as new, full, crescent, first, and last quarter. Now we have to think about what will be happen if Mercury become our natural satellite. Mercury is the smallest planet in the solar system, the closest planet to the sun, also has the shortest period of its orbit around the sun. And on the surface of Mercury, it is also covered by several craters, dark grey dust. The surface of Mercury is pretty similar to the moon, but the size and mass are different compared together. The size of Mercury is two-fifths of our planet. Night time will be brighter, high tide will be higher, low tide, how do you think? It is definitely lower. But when Mercury become our natural satellite, it will be 14 hours shorter. The most funniest thing is the statement, lunar cycle is no longer true. It will quickly become Mercury's cycle. Venus is the third brightest object in the sky, instead of the moon and the sun, also sister of the Earth. Venus and Earth both have similar sizes. The night time will be the same as the afternoon time. Venus will absolutely not be the natural satellite of Earth. They will orbit each other. If Venus and Earth keep orbiting each other, then they can firstly mess up the order of the terrestrial planets in the solar system, even including the whole solar system. But if Venus keep moving at the same size of the moon as now, they will be collide with each other very soon. If you let Mars to become a natural satellite, the size of Mars is nearly equal to two times the size of the moon. During the daytime, you can even see the valleys on Mars even the highest extinct volcano called Olympus Mons without a telescope. The size of Mars even the size of Mars is two times smaller than our Earth's diameter. They will be extremely unlucky if you let Mars to become our natural satellite. If you live near the sea, you need to run and escape very fast. Because Mars is larger than the moon, you will create large tsunami. The sea wave 
can also rise to the shoreline. And imagine if you are sleeping when Mars becomes a natural satellite. When you open up your eyes, you are able to see the sky is reddish. You are very, very hard to sleep. It can even make you become, become very tired and dizzy, no matter that it's night or daytime. Okay, now let's think something very big. How do you think if Jupiter become a natural satellite, the Earth will quickly change to another moon in the solar system? The only positive thing is when Jupiter become a natural satellite, people can people can have an amazing sky view. Let's think about it. When you go outside, you are able to see, wow, there's a large ball in the sky, has red, brown, yellow, and white patterns on the giant ball. Even there's a red spot at the, at the right. Wow, how beautiful it is. But sadly, Jupiter's large gravitational field can cause the earthquake, volcano eruptions, and tsunamis. Earth's mantle and crust will be separated, and it will crash into Jupiter only by using one day. Let's go Saturn. Saturn is more than 35 times larger than our natural satellite. If you let Saturn become a natural satellite, if you go outside and want to have a sky view, you are able to see there's a large ball in the sky with the beautiful ring on it. Wow, how amazing it is. Once Saturn become a natural satellite, Earth will be a little bit further away than its own moon, Dian, to Saturn. Earth will be another natural satellite of Saturn. Well, if you want Earth to crush by Saturn, it will be a little bit difficult com compared to the planet Jupiter. Firstly, because Saturn has a very large ring. If Earth want to be crushed by Saturn, Earth has to pass into Jupiter, I mean Saturn's ring, and then Saturn can quickly swallow the Earth. Okay, Uranus and Neptune are both ice giant planets, larger than our Earth, but smaller than Jupiter and Saturn. If you let Uranus and Neptune both become our natural satellite, the consequences will be exactly the same. Uranus has an ice interior, greenish-blue gas on its atmosphere, cold. For Neptune, it is also gas. It is also ice interior with dark blue gas everywhere. So let's get a turntable and roll it. Okay, let's give my favorite planet Neptune a turn. Neptune is 14 times larger than our moon. It will look like a bright blue hot air balloon in the sky. It will be very pretty. It will be 15 times larger than the sun. Neptune is 17 times messier than the Earth. So Earth will, Earth will be Neptune's natural satellite as well. Earth will be slightly messy Earth will be slightly messier than how does the Earth feel right now. So Earth will be Neptune's another natural satellite. Well, Earth will be slightly further away from its largest natural satellite called Triton. Earth will quickly collide with Triton by Neptune's strong gravity. It will be very beautiful if you let Neptune become our natural satellite. If you want to have a sky view, you are able to see in the sky. 
There is a hot air balloon. It's pretty. A lot of people like it. But the consequence is there are tsunamis every, every time, volcano eruption as well, and earthquake. So there will not be a good result if you want Neptune to be our natural satellite. I think you guys already know there's the moon. It's our natural satellite. How do you think if you replace the moon to the sun? When you switch the sun to the distance at how close the moon to the Earth is, you are able to see there's no blue sky at all. You, you can see there's a giant ball covered by plasma and burning fire on it. The sun is very hot and always have solar flare. The solar flare can rise as high as it can. One solar flare is very high and hot, even larger than our Earth. Think, can you imagine when only one solar flare crash into us? Earth will die very soon. It's no longer in the solar system anymore. How scary it is. Okay, guys, hope you like my YouTube channel. If you like my YouTube channel, please share and subscribe my YouTube channel. Bye. Have a nice day.